The deal philosophy, I think, is really important to review because when you look at the tenants and how they translate into today's world, it's really easy to see why students, faculty, staff, and really our patients are drawn to osteopathic medicine. And they say that the body, the person, is really made up of the body, the mind, and the spirit. One of the other tenets of osteopathic medicine is that the body has the ability to self-regulate. Our bodies are pretty fantastic machines. And if we treat them well, patients, people, our community can really live long, healthy, meaningful lives. Another one of our tenets of osteopathic medicine is structure and function and how they are interrelated. The last tenet of osteopathic medicine is if you're doing it right, you're looking at all three of the first ones. But what I think is really unique about being a DO physician is that while we're growing, we're a small community. So if you are somebody who, yes, wants to go into medicine and wants to help and take care of patients, but you're looking for where you can really make an impact, where you can really have a purpose and really drive the future of a profession, that's osteopathic medicine. When I think about the distinctiveness of an osteopathic physician compared to an allopathic physician, I, I think generally in two points. The first is the underlying tenets or philosophy behind the approach to patient care. And the second is the application. We go through the same medical training that you would see at an allopathic medical school. And in addition, because of these tenants, we have extra knowledge that we delve into with osteopathic manipulative medicine. Using these techniques, we can be able to complement, supplement the treatment plan so that we can be able to have this extra tool in order to help people get back to normal health. When people are asking what is manipulative medicine, the first thing I like to uh, let them know is that osteopathic manipulative medicine, it's a field of science like any other science. Uh, this particular science is in knowing what is structurally occurring to the body through its many various capacities uh, in order to be able to determine if a patient is having any issues that could be healed on the uh, natural level. The Indiana Osteopathic Association, also known as the IOA, we are the sort of professional home for all osteopathic physicians and osteopathic medical students here in the state of Indiana. And we work with um, osteopathic physicians and students through continuing medical education, um, through advocacy efforts here at the state level. We will also work to try and improve patient outcomes through legislation. The American Osteopathic Association, um, which is at the national level, um, they are the primary certifying body for osteopathic physicians. They also are the um, certifying agency for osteopathic medical schools. They have um, over 186,000 members, both osteopathic physicians and medical students, and they work with advocacy, they encourage scientific research, and they're doing advocacy both the state and national levels, as well as doing things globally for the profession. SOMA is the nation's largest osteopathic medical uh, organization and it's for students from all College of Osteopathic Medicines in the U.S. We're tied directly and uniquely to the American Osteopathic Association. The main missions of SOMA is to educate and prepare osteopathic leaders as well as advocates both nationally and locally. One of our goals for our mission is to establish collaborative relationships with either our state legislatures as well as um, the medical communities in our states and surrounding our schools. There are many benefits uh, both locally and nationally to joining SOMA. So SOMA members have access to a lot of discounts that they can use for board studying um, as well as a ton of other resources to help them be successful in medical school. Our Student Osteopathic Medical Association tries to foster a sense of belonging and camaraderie among students especially when trying to create that work-life balance that really is essential when going through the rigorous medical school education. SOMA provides professional headshots and CVs to mentoring to panels for students. We are really there to help students at every stage of their medical career. Being a part of SOMA really offers you the opportunity at the national level to not only attend conferences and hear about the most current research in the field, 
as well as network with professionals who are out in practice. But we also have numerous opportunities on service boards that really allow our members to kind of explore any other elements of their practice that they'll continue to grow into as clinicians, um, from research to professional development. I think early on it's really important for us all as students to understand how policy really impacts not only our patients' experience of medicine, but also how our practice is impacted on a state and national level. We do have a process of resolution writing, which allows for members as well as some uh, leadership to advocate for positions that we as a student organization nationally take. So I think it's important to join professional organizations such as SOMA, the IOA, AOA for professional development both as a student, resident and attending. Um, I think it just gives you connections that you may not make otherwise. It gives you resources. It also gives physicians a voice in legislative processes. Marion University really prepared me um, to enter residency training and then practice. I graduated in 2020 at this kind of peak of the pandemic. I entered residency treating a disease that nobody had ever seen before. So just having those foundational skills prepared me for training after residency too. I think what's really special about the community that we have, not only amongst the students, but also like the team of the students and the faculty and staff. You would see our students really supporting each other and rooting for each other's success, um, but that also continues on with our faculty and staff. They are not only invested in your success and that end goal, but also your journey along the way and the learning that comes with it. We are the only osteopathic medical program in the state of Indiana, and we have this unique setting where we're in an urban setting um, in the beautiful city of Indianapolis, and that provides a lot of opportunity for our students to be involved with rural communities, but also our urban communities. It provides a diverse population for us to engage with, um, to gain experience experience and also learn perspective with other people. At MUCOM, we also really emphasize wellness and the work-life balance and Indianapolis provides a lot of opportunities to get out when you're not studying. We really have a lot of opportunities to just engage with the community and that's something I really enjoy about Indianapolis.